the Parthenon. I'll use this sign for Parthenon or this one. This was built in Athens 2,500 years ago, in the 5th century BC. The whole building is built with white marble, even the tiles on the roof, so it would have shimmered and glistened in the sun and could be seen from miles around. Parthenon was located on a hill called the Acropolis, and I sign Acropolis like this. Acropolis means high town and it was a notable tall landmark. The Acropolis is a large hill towering above you as you come towards it with a steep ascent. It's quite challenging to climb this rise and hot work in the sun. When you do get to the top, you encounter a monumental columned gateway. After going through this, the Acropolis summit opens up in front of you. There facing you is placed a large formidable statue with helmet, spear, shield and dress. This was the statue of the goddess Athena. And I use this sign for her. Here she wears the hat or helmet of war in her role as warrior goddess. If you leave her on your left, you'll see the Parthenon. As you approach, the monument and columns rise up above you, a soaring 12 metres above the ground. You first arrive at the northwest corner with the west side on your right and the north side running ahead of you towards the left. The base of the long north side is 72 metres long, the equivalent of six London buses parked one in front of the other. You would walk along the north side past all the columns to turn round to the east side. This is the side where they used to worship their gods back then. At the altar set outside. You wouldn't expect to go inside the temple. The ancient Greeks built temples not to congregate in to worship, but as a home to the dedicated God and their statue. If you did go inside the Parthenon, you would have seen the huge statue of Athena towering above you. This was called the Athena Parthenos in her role as the virgin goddess. Outside, you could see above you the square sculpted coloured metopes and two triangular sculpted pediments on the short sides of the building. Also, above the internal second row of columns, if you peered up beyond the outer row, you could see in the gloom the continuous frieze. 